The sport's never had money like this before to invest in facilities and it's because of the World Cup that we've managed to secure this government investment and just look at the difference it's making. Facilities such as here today at Siddle, building capacity, giving more people an opportunity to get involved in rugby league and having a really high quality experience when they get there. Yeah, I mean facilities like this, what they enable clubs like Siddle to do is keep all of their activity on one site as well. So there's a lot more activity that drives more revenue over the bars. Uh, they haven't got teams dispersed all over Halifax trying to find you know, training facilities. Uh, and you know, the more revenue that's driven into the clubs, uh, the more they can do beyond rugby league as well. I mean, these clubs like Siddle are not just about rugby league, it's the, it's the other work they do in their local communities as well. Um, but it's all driven through what happens on the pitch. So to have a facility like this that will enable them to, to grow and to, to bring in women and girls section that they, you know, you know so far, they haven't had the, the, the space to do that. So this gives them the opportunity to do that and start bringing in uh, you know, wider, wider members of the community that haven't been involved thus far as well. Hi, I'm Luke Gale, the created by Ambassador for the Rugby League World Cup 2021 and I'm here with Joe, the Siddle Club Secretary. So Joe, we can see obviously there's a bit of work going on today. What is the benefits this pitch going to give the club like Siddle? Um, I guess one of the key ones is certainty of getting the game on. Um, we've got a tremendous volunteer ground staff, Luke, but from time to time, because of the weather we get in the Pennines, you know, you get a you get either games called off or we back to that games because of all the juniors. We'd have to change games to the top pitch or maybe play away. So it's just going to give us the ability to play back-to-back -back games most weekends. Brilliant. Um, and get 25 hours a week playing time out of it with training. Fantastic. And I've been told there's um, there's only, I think, five of these in the country. So it's a massive, uh, massive privilege to get one down at, at your own sports club. Oh, absolutely. We're ever so grateful for the help that we've had by uh, Rugby League World Cup 2021. Um, it's going to make a big difference. Um, obviously, this year has been challenging because of COVID and we haven't played much rugby, but the thoughts of all the teams and the parents and the members and the supporters is that we just want to get back out on this fantastic facility in 2021. After the year we've had this year, um, everyone's locked up inside. Um, it's not great for the kids. So I think this, this, this is, is perfect kind of way to get people back outside and give them something to look forward to. I think it's massively important funding. We, we need it in rugby league. We're not like football who's kind of got tens of millions at, at their disposal. We need that funding. We need more people to play our great game. Um, we need to leave a lasting legacy. We've got a great product on the pitch, but we've got to leave a legacy from years to come as well. So I think with, with this funding, providing great facilities like this, we're going to get more people playing our great game. I think this, this breaks a mark of the £10 million barrier which the Rugby League World Cup have given. So it's, uh, it's a great honour for me to come down here to Siddle today and deliver this grant. So um, keep up the good work and we're going to leave a, a massive legacy from years to come.